Um, Genesis 25, 17, and 18. This is about Ishmael. Ishmael lived 137 years. This would have been his full life. 137 years, a long life. Most people don't live this long today, if any of them. But at that time, it wasn't rarity. It was more of a commonplace. When he breathed his last and died, he was buried with his family. His children settled down at all the way from Havala near Egypt, eastward to Shur, in the direction of Assyria that Ishmaelites didn't get along with their kin. Now their kin may refer to Isaac. Um, it may refer to Jacob and Esau. It may refer to each other. Um, now, we see earlier that he had 12 princes, sons, all became princes of a kingdom, or kingdoms. Um, we see that how he settled near Egypt. His mother was from Egypt. She was going back to Egypt, most likely, when she was asked by the angel to return. Um, most likely, they when they left, they went to Egypt. So he settles around Egypt. He doesn't settle in Egypt because he wouldn't have developed a kingdom. But he settles outside Egypt, develops this kingdom, the Ishmaelite territory, the Ishmaelite kingdom, and he builds a legacy. But it's not built on the Lord, so don't lie. There's strife between the camps. Because God isn't in the picture, and with God not being in the picture, we don't have, we have stuff. More stuff. But, these kingdoms being set up. Of proof. Of fulfillment. Starting to be done. Forever. There's another nation being built. Yeah, do they get along? No. There's also a fulfillment to the promise of God. Gave Abraham. That was the other son of Ishmael. Although he wasn't the promised child. Being the seed of Abraham. Which shows that people can come into church, receive a blessing. Yeah, or being in the promise. Many people are this way. But we can be adopted into the promise. That's a lot of people need to hear that. Those of us who have are so blessed to be 